Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for war number two of season 45 and today we have a matchup against Salty, one of the best alliances in the game uh, on the podium pretty much every season. Uh, so we got our work cut out for us today for sure. Today's team Void returning to action, very happy about that. Absorbing Man and I Bomb for a synergy. Bit of a light war today, light start to the season in fact. We just finished war three today and it was also... Uh, only a few fights for me. So first up we have this Weapon X on node 9 on the Hazard Shift lane in section 1. I'm going to go in here with Carl in Magma form and then with the I-Bomb synergy we are Poison Immune. So really as long as we don't take any unnecessary hits here and get bled, uh, this is a very safe fight. So I pushed myself to a special 2. Now I'm going to wait out the Unstoppable here. And then I'm going to special intercept with the special two. That's going to push him over bar power and allow me to get into a rhythm here of doing a combo, pushing him again over bar power, uh, and then baiting out a special and continuing. So this really eliminates the need for me to ever have to take a blocked hit. Not that I could anyways, uh, but I wouldn't have to like do any risky intercepts either here. So uh, I don't think he loses his rage, and he's predictably aggressive, of course, when he's in rage. So... Uh, you know, pretty simple fight. The start of this fight is, is the most important part. Once you nail that, the rest of it is very, very easy. All right, next up we have a Mantis here on node 18. I'm going to go again here with Carl. So we're going to use a combat regen boost. This is just to turn off her tranquilize at the start of the fight, which will guarantee us a parry. And then uh, with Power Focus 1, it, it, it can be tricky with Mantis because you really don't want her to throw that special 1, right? Because it, the Encroaching Sleep passive is very annoying to deal with, and if you can push her to her special 2, it's a much easier way to fight her. So you can see, once she's over by our power, we're just doing 4 hits and block baiting, baiting out a heavy attack and countering from there. Uh, I think I tossed the special 2 here, and I expected it to push her to 2 bars of power, but it pushes her just below, and I really thought that she was going to toss the special 1 there, so I got kind of lucky there uh, with that. You can also see that uh, whenever we gain a bar of power, we're triggering the Indestructible from the Feet of Indestructible node, uh, but Carl automatically reduces the duration of those buffs by like 90% or whatever it is, so it, it really doesn't impact this fight in any way. Heavy counter into the special 2, and that is enough to finish her off. Again, a, a pretty simple fight for Carl. Alright, moving up in section 2, we are on path 1. We have a fight that I've taken probably 100 times before, so I'm going to speed this up as quickly as possible. This is a thing on node 19. Uh, basically a standard fight for Void. Um, just want to, you know, once you get like the heal block up because of Indomitable, the fight is pretty much over at that point. So just manage your rock stacks. I've talked about this at length many videos over many different seasons I've taken this fight and it has never changed so as long as you as long as you keep count of your of your rock stacks you're gonna be completely fine uh, another thing you can kind of do here um, is you can continuously knock him down with like a heavy attack uh, and that will enable you to apply the slow debuff uh, and and cancel out his unstoppable so if you want to be a bit more aggressive you can play it like that I'm just kind of used to playing it one way so all right, last fight of the war for me is a Darkhawk on 28. Darkhawk is a tactic defender, so we're going to go in here with Void. Uh, and then once we, uh, we're going to have a lot of debuffs up, so that's a lot of damage, a lot of despair, and then we can end up reversing the regen uh, from him. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do here is building myself up to close to two bars of power, because once we knock him down, we're going to start triggering his auto block, and it's really going to kind of slow down the fight here. So what I want to do is get close to two bars, do a special one, and then I want to parry heavy to knock him down again, and then push myself over a bar power again, and then special intercept to get another debuff applied. So I think this is the most efficient way to get debuffs up uh, with Void at the start of the fight here. So we do kind of uh, get some bad luck here with the Petrify. Right there, that little like lag, that was actually in-game. That wasn't the video, and I panicked hardcore when that happened, because, you know, if you, you, can, you can lose control of your character in that, like, split second, and, and who knows what could have happened, so. Uh, the other thing that I'm very mindful of in this fight is the Unstoppable, because I'm not knocking him down very much, I'm not getting good uptime on the slow debuff, uh, so whenever I have a buff, or whenever I've dexed and I have that buff on me, I am really just being very careful to like parry and then do one hit just in case the unstoppable triggers there. And when I see that it doesn't trigger, I can go in uh, for the rest. So uh, pretty simple war for me. We did unfortunately not come away with the win. We ended up losing on time. It was like a 3-3 tie. And uh, SSX typically one of the slowest tier 1 alliances. So we will, we will almost never win a tiebreaker. Uh, we have to win outright. So 
Four kills for me, zero deaths. Our record falls to one and one. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please remember to hit that like button for me. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.